U.S. Customs and Border Protection has raised global entry fees by 20%. In this video, we talk about the updated costs to bypass long U.S. border lines with ease. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by I am. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Frequent travelers looking to breeze through U.S. airport security and skip long customs lines with global entry will now have to pay more for the convenience. For the first time in over 15 years, the U.S. Customs and Border Protection has increased fees for its trusted traveler programs, which include Global Entry, Nexus, and Sentry. As of October 1, 2024, all three programs now come with a standardized fee of $120. This price hike, which follows a rule passed earlier this year, harmonizes the cost across the programs. With Global Entry, travelers not only receive expedited customs clearance at 77 U.S. airports, but also TSA pre-check, which makes navigating airport security faster and less stressful. Since its inception in 2008, Global Entry had kept its fee at $100, but with the growing demand the $20 increase feels like an inevitable cost of convenience. Sentry, designed for faster entry at US-Mexico land borders, has also moved to the new $120 standard. The biggest impact of the price hike hits Nexus members. Nexus, which facilitates expedited travel between the US and Canada, saw its fee soar from $50 to $120. For those who frequently travel across the US-Canada border, the increase is hard to ignore. In a statement, CBP explained that as the programs have grown and expanded, updating the fee structures is crucial for sustaining and managing them effectively. One silver lining, children under 18, who apply alongside a parent or legal guardian will no longer need to pay the $120 fee. This is a change from the previous system, where families had to pay $100 per person regardless of age. While no one likes paying more, the benefits of these trusted traveler programs, particularly global entry, are hard to beat for those who value convenience. What are your thoughts on this issue? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.